Hi, Saggy. It's CJ, and I'm going to do your July 2021 general reading. This will be for your sun, your moon, your Venus, and your rising. And if your birthday happens to fall between December 13th and December 21st, uh, you are the third decan of the Sagittarius sign. And so I'll be putting a little bit more focus into those who have birthdays between that time frame. Uh, your degrees would be somewhere between 20 and 29, just so you know. Um, I've already prepped the decks and um, cleansed the space, so we are ready to get going. And let's see what is awaiting you for the month of July, give or take a few days. Time is fluid. I hope you are well. Dear angels and guides, please show me clearly what messages you have for our gorgeous, beautiful Sagis. Sign of fire. Passion, excitement, adventure, all those yummy things that our Sagis are. All right, that is ready. Thank you so much, angels and guides. Please show me clearly what do we have for our Sagis, third decan for the month of July 2021. What is happening in their life? is going on in their world. And just because I'm focusing more on those birth dates between December 13th and the 21st doesn't mean that this wouldn't apply to any Sagis that are born in the first, second, or the second, you know. Um, there could be even a bigger picture of listening to all that one felt like it wanted to come out. Yes. Queen of Swords. Okay. Decisive. Very caring, very loyal, but is not afraid to stand up to those who, well, to those who um, may be doing something wrong. <laughs> Thank you so much. Two of Swords. Okay. Choice between head and heart. Could be dealing with someone who has air in their chart, or perhaps you have air in your chart somewhere. Is there a choice that you've had to make, or that you're supposed to make? Please show me clearly, angels and guides. Thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. What's going on with our Sagis? Please show me clearly. Hmm. Please show me clearly. Okay. Thank you so much. Six of Wands. Celebrations is this is um oh the tower. Okay. Is there anything else? So we've got two of swords, queen of swords, six of wands in the tower. Something has had to break down. Seven of coins. Okay. Interesting. We'll stop there for right now. Can you just give me a moment? Let me just feel the energy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let the Tower and the Queen of Swords go right beside each other, right below. They're same. I feel they're feeling kind of like the same energy. Okay. We'll just start off with this. Two of wands, two of swords. I wonder why I wanted to say one. Two of Swords. So this is choice between two things, obviously. Usually, me as a reader sees it between your head and your heart. Something that your logic wants to do, something that your your heart and your feelings want to do, and you've got to choose between them. And it's not always easy. And, you know, it, it can be a struggle. 
but in this card especially in this deck the fountain deck what I do love about this two of swords is this this energy here seems empowered to me I get the energy of empowerment she, she doesn't look she knows that there's a choice to be made but she seems to be empowering herself with whatever choice she makes. I hope that makes sense. But just the same, still a choice. There's something that has had to or will have to fall away. You've got the tower. And you have the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is not afraid of cutting out what doesn't matter, like what is not important anymore. She is not afraid. She is very self assured. She is very direct. She doesn't have time for the bullshit, basically, to put it bluntly. She's very giving and she's very protective. As you are, Sad, you're a very loyal, very giving and protective soul. But she's not, like I said, afraid to cut out the bullshit. And I think the fact that the tower came and felt like it should go right underneath it is, is like, let that tower fall. Whatever this choice is between two things, two people, two jobs, two circumstances, whatever that is, fit the pieces if or when, where they apply in your life. Become the Queen of Swords. Make that decision. Cut out what doesn't serve you. Let that tower fall because whatever it is isn't based on solid foundation. It's time you've learned all you've needed to learn out of that. And it is now time for that tower to fall so that you can begin again creating something that is going to be on a much more stable a stable ground. Because in this card it depicts yes, it's a tower. But look at these two points that are meeting these two triangles, and they're exposed. They're carrying the top, the top part that is heavier. So it's not, it's not factual. It's not. There's nothing that can actually hold all of this on top of the smaller pyramids. So it's time to let it go. It's time to let it fall. Use your sword. To cut it out. I'm going to ask. Get some more question or get some more cards for a little bit more clarity but I'm just wanting to share with you what the cards are thus far. You've got the six of wands. So this is your passion, your creativity, it's fire, it's fiery, it's inspiration, it is dedication, it's hard work. This six of wands is hard work, but it is six, so it's balanced. But it's also recognition, it's celebration, it is um it is like this is you get to have a moment where you're like, this is this is good news. This is good news coming in. Or you're feeling good. It's positive. Very positive. And then you also have the seven of coins, which is pentacles. And it is earth. And you're taking a stock, basically, of the work and effort that you've put in. And seeing, are you feeling that it is um, what you put in? Have you gotten out of it? You're looking to see what what the harvest is. Okay, so I'm going to need to pull a couple more cards because I need a little bit more clarity. But so far, it just feels like there's a choice that you have to make or that you've had to make. You do need to take the energy of the Queen of Swords and cut out what does not serve you anymore. Let it crumble. Let it go. Because once that's done, you have a brand new start. You're able to then celebrate and start to look at like what, how hard you worked. I mean, seven of cups is, or sorry, why did I say cups? There's no cups here. Hmm, maybe this is something to do with emotions. Um, seven of coins is, you know, it's, it's taken a lot of hard work to get your seven of coins, right? But you're looking to see like. Have what I, has the effort I put into it? Have I gotten the return? Let's see if we can get a couple more cards. I will. No. Nope. Okay. 
Thank you so much, angels and guides. Let's use the tarot deck. Thank you so much. I'd like to now, like, what is the Two of Swords about? What is the, what is this choice? If you can clarify that for me. If you give me just a little bit more broader focus of what this reading is truly about. Because right now I kind of almost feel like I have a bit of a blindfold on with the Two of Swords. I'm kind of relating and feeling that energy. And I need to see a little bit more clearly. So if you can please show me, angels and guides, I am really grateful. Please show me clearly so that the message comes out that is needed to come out. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you so much. Stop that. Eight of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. Okay. <clears throat> well, we have the Seven of Pentacles and then we have the Eight of Pentacles. Really diligently working hard. Really focused. So I almost feel here after you've taken stock of the effort that you put in and what has come out of it, it is, it is worth it because now you're at the Eight of Pentacles. And then you have the Nine of Cups. I know it seems a little scattered, so please bear with me because there's quite a bit of energy going on here and feels a little kind of chaotic. Um, Knight of Cups. You know, this is the Romantic card. This is the Romantic Knight, right? Cups, water emotion. He's a knight that is charismatic. Um, he's making moves towards what he loves. And I'm trying to figure out how this fits. These angels and gods, can you clarify this for me a little bit more? How is this sitting in here? What is the message for our Sag, Deck and Three? Whatever you're working on, you're dedicating to continue to work, but there's something you have to cut out. What is it that you have to cut out? That's what I need to ask. I need to find more. What is it that you are needing to cut out? What is it is in the tower that needs to fall so that the celebration can begin and the recognition the give and the take, the taking stock, the eight o'clock, the eight o'clock, the eight of pentacles, working hard, still dedicated to it. Hmm. Oh, gee. Okay. Thank you so much. Let's see if this clarifies it a little bit. Three cards. Okay. What do we got? We've got a nine of pentacles. That's amazing. We've got seven of pentacles. Eight of Pentacles and Nine of Pentacles. Okay. 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 And then we got the King of Cups. And we got the char Chariot. Okay. So, hmm. And I'll show you the King of Cups. Okay. Let me try my best to channel this. There's a choice for you to make between two things. Once you make that choice and you cut out... Okay, you've got two, two choices. Two choices. You need to cut one of them out. Let the tower fall. Then you're going to have that one focus. That one focus leads you to 
you know, the six of wands. You're determined. This is fire. You're also at the same time, while you're working really hard and having some celebration, you're also checking to see is what you're putting in, are you getting the reward of it? It appears that you are because you continue to work and you get to the Eight of Pentacles. And you're so focused that you then get the chariot, which means, yeah, you're in the driver's seat, you know? You're in the driver's seat and you're going straight forward and you're moving at a rapid pace. And the chariot then leads you to your Nine of Pentacles, which is, you know, wealth, independence. Look at this, look at this lady. She is dressed beautifully. She's got a bird on her shoulder. She's got her pentacles everywhere. She's got this garden. It's success. It's independence. It's luxury. It's, it's self-confidence. It's all of those things. And that's where the chariot is leading you to. And then on this other level, the watery level, the emotional level, because this part so far we're talking about, you know, swords that are your thoughts, you know, the logical parts. And then we've got, you know, we've got the fire, the passion, the creativity in the wands. And then we've got the material, the, the seven, the eight, the nine of pentacles, the earthy part. And then we've got the chariot, which is a major arcana overseeing this. And then you've got the emotional satisfaction as well, because you start off as a knight and you become the king. So whatever this choice is that you have to make, just cut those crap out. Whatever you know, into, listen to your intuition, obviously, Sag. But whatever part feels ick and you're not really enjoying whatever choice that is, the one that makes your, the one that makes your stomach feel a little heavy and a little... Like for me, when I have to listen to my, when I'm listening to my intuition and I know that I have a choice between two things, usually if I really just take a breath and, and, and think of the first option and think of the second, one of them will usually give me a signal because my, my tummy doesn't feel good, my gut doesn't feel good. So get rid of that. If that is how it works for you, I mean, we're all different. Use your intuition, use your logic, use whatever reasoning you, you do and that makes you comfortable. But get rid of the one that doesn't make you feel so good. Be that queen of swords. Cut that out. Let the tower fall because it wasn't meant to stand anyways. You're going to then have just not only emotional fulfillment, the king of cups. I mean, nurture, intuitive, emotions completely balanced. He's self-assured. He is someone that you can trust. Your emotions then become very balanced. And you're moving really fast, full speed ahead from the part of being in, well, geez, am I, is what I'm putting in worth what I'm receiving? Well, yes, it is. Because if you continue to work on it, remember, Back to the first choice, like whatever this choice is that you need to pick, whatever decision it is that you make, you need to make here, you're going to get your nine of coins. Your nine of coins and your king of cups. And once you make that choice, it's going to come in really fast. moving at a very fast speed. So, <clears throat> I would say that this kind of feels more like, it feels more like a career choice, but, but, but I don't know. I mean, you're going to know what resonates or doesn't resonate with you or if it fits or if it doesn't fit. It just is quite simple. Make a choice and keep working because that's going to bring you a lot of success emotionally and materialistically. Yeah, it looks pretty good. 
I'm going to pull a card out of the Moonology and see if there's a card that can kind of, you know, sum this whole reading up a bit. Thank you so much, angels and guides. Is there anything else you would like our gorgeous Sagis to know for the month of July 2021? Is there anything else? Any more advice? It looks like you're really working hard, and that is, like, going to be rewarding. You're going to get your rewards. Sometimes it's not easy to make a, uh, to make a decision between two things. But you have the capability. And you have the knowledge. One card, please. For our Sagittarius. No, oh, this is just, okay, oh, okay, we've got, you are good enough, okay, these two, these three stuff together, so it feels like that's what they wanted me to take, confidence is your key to success, and it's a time of healing, all right, let's go through these one at a time, okay, you are good enough, full moon in Virgo, you are good enough. I feel like that pairs with the seven of coins. What you're putting in. What you're receiving. Confidence is your key to success. Yeah, be confident. You're a fire sign. you got lots of confidence. Healthy, beautiful confidence. Because you're just amazing. Don't forget that, you know? Use your confidence. Eight of Pentacles. Be confident in what the choice you've made and continue working. Because it does bring you to your Nine of Cups. And a time of healing. This is obviously to do with the Two of Swords. I, that's just the connection I'm getting. It's balsamic moon. But this is obviously you're, you're having to kind of heal from something. And that's probably why the Queen of Swords and the Tower has come in. Um, I will take a moment. Although this reading is getting quite long. But I'm going to take a moment because I would just like to kind of read a little bit of each of these cards. Just to make sure you're getting the full picture. So we're going to start with You Are Good Enough, Full Moon in Virgo. Full Moon in Virgo. Okay. The full moon in Virgo is a time to declutter your life, your home, and your office. It is a time to sort what's good in your life from what's not serving you. Hence why, again, the Queen of Swords and the Tower has come in, right? Um, it's also the time to clear out your energies via salt baths, meditations, and to practice getting more grounded. Walk around barefoot. No matter when you draw this card, it is a reminder that any time is a good time to start living a healthier, better life. Okay, so that's what we're talking about. That two of swords is, you have, you have to make that choice, let the tower fall, and use your sword. Right? Okay, the next one is confidence is your key to success, which is new moon in Leo. I know this is a long one, so thanks for having patience with me, but obviously these messages are important to come out for you. Let's show you the card again. Leo is a sign of the big and brave-hearted lion of pride and showmanship. The energy around the new moon in Leo is hot and generous. The energy loves itself, and so should you. If you've been too much of a wallflower, this new moon and the new Leo moon could or comes as a reminder that you need to be proud of who you are. And I feel like that kind of fits in a little bit with, for some reason, I just feel like with the Seven of Coins, I'm just... Sometimes we can do a lot of work and then and we're feeling really great and confident about the work that we're doing. But then sometimes when we see the rewards that have come from it, maybe it isn't as or doesn't feel as great as the amount of energy that we put into it. And sometimes that can like knock our confidence, right? But it is telling you you just need to keep working. Do the eight of do the eight of coins and you're gonna get your nine of coins. And I'll read the time of he a uh, time for healing the stomach moon. 
So it's a beautiful card. So they all are colors. Here we are. Patience is required at the time. At this time, it is a time for self-care as you slowly but surely prepare yourself for the new moon, which is just around the corner. No matter when you pull it in the current moon cycle, it is a reminder to go a little bit easier on yourself. The time to step into the crescent's power will come soon enough. Time to let go of your past, and you are about to turn a corner, and you are. You make this decision, and you're going to have your nine of pentacles. All right, we're going to close this reading, reading off, Taji, with just one card from Pearls of Wisdom, and... And that will conclude. All right, angels and guys, please show me clearly one card of inspiration. Thank you so much. I am really grateful. Passion and power. Finish this reading. Feel the passion. Magic happens when you do what you love. Your reward is joy, well-being, and love of life. I am passionate. Well, that pretty much sums it up because here you are, six of wands, doing what you love. This is, you know, a success. So stay on that path and you will have all that you wish for. Materially, and emotionally balanced. Beautiful. I hope this month is going to be a good one for you. I do hope that there's something in this, in this message that resonates or, you know, makes some sense to you. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for joining. I do really greatly appreciate it. I wish you um, a great month and great peace and fun and happiness and, you know, you got this. This is going to be a good month for you. So until next time, thanks for tuning in and take care.